quick video and tell everyone that you are free to take anything off of this channel that you would like and put it on your channel have it on your computer you know do anything with it you want none of its copywritten all of its free um, you don't have to give me any credit you don't have to ask for my permission even a lot of people will say can I have your permission to put this on my channel or to do such and such with it I mean I even had a guy from Africa ask me for permission to just teach this lesson at his church I mean that's completely fine why would I be against you uh, preaching or using this little message here seven things you can do with your King James Bible I mean that's what I want I mean that's my goal I mean I don't understand why somebody would want to use my outline or anything like that because I don't think it's that good but I mean that's uh, I'm flattered by it if you would like to use my stuff or use the outline use just anything I said a quote I said and just you don't have to give me credit you don't have to say well he said this I mean just say it I don't, I don't care I could care less I mean you could copy everything I've got you can take my whole blessed channel and put it on yours I could care less and you don't even have to give me credit why why would it bother me if you took all of my videos and put them on your channel that's not gonna make me think bad of you that's gonna make me think well he's trying to get the truth out I mean uh, I would I wouldn't think you're trying to get famous on YouTube I mean because for one thing I'm not I mean all my videos 141 views 128 views 229 views 282 views I mean I've been doing this a long time and I learned years ago that this channel is not getting big it's never going to be a big channel here was the first video I did and I remember as a new Christian I just wanted to do something for God and I made this video how to go to heaven 10 over 10 years ago I don't even know why it says 10 years ago it's a little bit over probably close to 11 years and I learned a long time ago that this channel is never going to be big and I'm just going to just keep putting stuff out there for people that just want something extra and like I, I've been doing the um, three lessons on Sundays and I am in no way trying to steal you away from your pastor or your church by having a Sunday school lesson or an AM lesson or a PM lesson somebody said that I'm not trying to start my own YouTube church here. That is in no way what I'm doing. I am in no way trying to lead you away from your pastor or to make you think I'm smarter than him. There is no way that I'm smarter than your pastor or wiser than your pastor or can care about you like your pastor can. And I would never want to do that. That's not what the purpose of this is. This is All this is is for somebody that maybe wants some something extra to listen to. And um, I also put uh, sermons by random preachers sometimes, like Harry Nix. I don't know Harry Nix. And uh, I doubt that he even gets on the internet. I mean, he's a he's an older man now. These are very old sermons that I found on the internet, like goodpreaching.com and thing, places like that, or Sermon Audio. And I just put them on, I, like this, I got this off of Sermon Audio. I got a blessing out of it. I download like 10 sermons a day to listen to at work this is one of them I listen to I put it on I put it a picture with it and put it on here for you guys because I got a blessing out of it I thought you would too and it's in no way trying to get me views because I mean nobody knows who Harry Nix is on here it's got 112 views and I mean the Danny Castle sermons I have permission to put those up Danny actually wants me to put those up and all of the Danny Castle sermons are also free. They're not copywritten. And a long time ago, when I first started talking to Danny back in like 2010, 11, whatever it was, I, I said, I appreciate you putting out your sermons for free because a lot of people charge for their sermons. Outrageous prices. And I mean, I understand to a certain extent why they do that. But we're living in a time when you can put out tons of stuff for free. Massive amounts of stuff. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to put out massive amounts of truth for free. And you can have it all. Free of charge.
take the whole channel. I, I want you to. Just take it all. Put it on your channel. Give it to your friends. You don't have to say who it is. You don't have to give me credit for it. But like, I like what Danny said. He said, why would I charge for my sermons? I'd pay somebody to listen to me preach. I mean, that's one of the greatest quotes I've ever heard in my life. I mean, that what what type of world are we living in when you're charging $10 for one sermon and you're getting mad at somebody if they give it to somebody? I mean, I... I mean, I understand, that's your opinion. If you want to do that, that's fine. I, I'm not judging you for it or saying you're wrong for doing that. I just, I can't wrap my mind around that. Or that why you would be upset about somebody for sharing the truth. I, I can't wrap my mind around that. But um, everything on the channel is free. You can have everything on this channel. You don't have to ask for permission. A lot of people ask permission to repost my studies. I'm shocked that they would even want to. So... But I say repost away. None of it's copywritten. The channel's not monetized. I don't make any money off of it. And I'm not against, I'm personally not against somebody monetizing their channel. If that's what they feel like they want to do, that's fine with me. I don't see anything wrong with that. And uh, like I said, Danny is also fine. He's told me he's fine with anybody taking his sermons. Repost it to their channel. Somebody else take that from their channel. Repost it to their channel. It's absolutely fine. You don't have to give anybody any credit. You don't have to write down a name of who you got it from. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm not concerned with views. I'm not concerned with any of that stuff. I'm just trying to get the truth out. And if you feel like I've got something on my channel that you think should not be on the channel, send me an email and I will take it down. Because... I don't believe I've got anything on my channel that's violating anything, but my name came up that I was putting copyright and stuff on my channel, and I just, I've, I'm not seeing any of it, any copyright and stuff. The David Hoffman stuff, I've been talking to David for a long time. He gave me permission a long time ago to put his stuff on my channel. His stuff's not copyright. I don't even think the Common Man's Reference Bible's copyright. So you can take that and do what you want with the the common man's reference bible i'm pretty sure and uh the other thing was the ruckman sermons people were saying that i was taking us uh, a ruckman sermons and putting them on my channel that were copywritten but none of these are copywritten and to stay away from anybody i don't want any christians thinking that i'm doing something i shouldn't do i unlisted them they're unlisted. Nobody can see them but me. Maybe I'll come back and watch them every now and then at work or something, listen to them. I just thought that they were good sermons. They're all of them. None of them were preached at Ruckman's Church. None of them are on the bookstore. They're all preached in New York, Rochester, New York, back like 40, 50 years ago. And there's only like 17 of them. I just liked them, so I put them on here. The same reason that I've got any of these guys on here. I just thought they were good. Are the are like these cassette classics by Danny Castle. These were sent to me personally by Danny Castle. He sent me 900 and something cassettes that I converted to uh, MP3 and uploaded them on here with the picture. And I had permission to do it. So I just wanted to clear that up because I've been getting emails about it. I've been seeing stuff about it, hearing about it. And like I said, take anything you'd like off the channel. Use it. Get as much truth out as you can. And that's it.